Hello, uh, this is Tuesday's story and it's called Dinosaurs and All That Rubbish by Michael Foreman. A man stood on a hill and looked at a star. All he thought about, dreamed about, was the star. Grass grew high and trees grew tall. The man climbed to the top of a tree and tried to reach the star, but he was nowhere near it. The, gra- the trees filled with birds which flew still nearer the star. I must fly, said the man. I have money. I have many men working for me. I must fly. Somehow I must fly. The man owned some factories nearby. Build me a rocket, he ordered. Cut down the trees, dig out the coal, burn whatever will burn and build me a rocket to reach the stars. All day and all night the fires in the factories huffed and puffed. Smoke and fumes and waste and rubbish poured out and piled up. At last the rocket was ready, but there was nowhere for it to be launched. Everywhere was piled high with heaps of waste from the factories. The man took his rocket to the top of a heap and set off for the star. When he landed on the star, the man looked about him. There was nothing to see. He walked and walked, looking for something to admire, but still there was nothing. No trees, no flowers, and not a blade of grass. Sadly, he looked around, but the only thing of wonder was another star far off in the black sky. I will go to that star, said the man, and away he went again in his rocket. On earth, the piles of rubbish smouldered and burned and the mountains rumbled. Far below the surface, the heat disturbed the sleep of the dinosaurs who had lain hidden away for hundreds of years. They heaved and stretched, the earth cracked, and out came all sorts of creatures. A dinosaur held his nose as he looked around. Pooh, he said, there's nothing on this planet but mess. If we're going to live here, we're going to have to get busy. Some of the dinosaurs burned the rubbish in volcanoes. Dancing dinosaurs broke up the roads. As the rubbish was cleared, green shoots appeared, bursting through cracks and climbing over old forgotten walls. Telegraph poles and iron pylons vanished beneath trailing blossoms and a fresh new forest of flowers and trees spread like a smile across the world. And all this time the man was heading for his new star, unaware that it was the very same planet Earth he had once left behind him. He landed in a jungle alive with beautiful plants, sweet with the scent of flowers and filled with the song of birds, At last, he said, I have found my paradise. Whose paradise, said the biggest dinosaur. Mine, said the man. Rubbish, said the dinosaur. What do you mean by rubbish, said the man. You can't talk to me like that. Why, with a head as small as yours, you can't possibly have enough brain to look after this star. Our heads are the same size, said the dinosaur, but my heart is much bigger than yours. If you had been ruled by your heart instead of your head, You would not have destroyed this paradise before. I destroyed it, said the man. You mean this is Earth? Yes, it is, said the dinosaur. But it can't be, said the man. It is, said the dinosaur. The man looked about him and saw that the dinosaur was right. Please may I have a small part of it back, he asked. Please, just a hill or a tree or a flower. No, said the dinosaur, not a part of it, but all of it. It is all yours, but it is also all mine. Remember that. This time the earth belongs to everyone, not parts of it to certain people, but all of it to everyone, to be enjoyed and cared for. Yes, everyone sang the birds and the cats and the mice and the mammoths and the serpents, the dodos and the apes. Everyone came the chorus from all living things. Everyone. Everyone.